So there, there are donuts over there. Are those, are those for you? I believe that fate led these donuts to me and also gave me this preliminary swimsuit and fitness award. I actually learned one of the most important things is to allow yourself to have a cheat meal. When you're getting ready for Miss America, you cannot possibly spend... You, I actually started the Monday after I was crowned Miss Clinton County in July of 2014. So if you can imagine going a year and a half without ever splurging, I think you would go crazy. Yes. I think your brain would just literally go crazy. So you wouldn't this, be happy anymore. No. You could smile So at this that is point. the importance of a cheat meal. You can have a donut hole if you want to, and you can still be a swimsuit prelim winner because... Exactly you got to have your cheat meals. So what did you have to do to get here? I was hearing that you had a pretty fantastic gym. I have the best gym. I work out through Quad City Performance in LeClaire, Iowa. And I have two trainers, Rita and Brian, um, a husband and wife. And they trained me Monday through Friday. And they also, I would go grocery shopping. But then I would deliver my groceries to Rita. And she would literally, I bought like 150 Tupperware containers. Oh and she would gosh. label them all, separate all my meals. I would eat every three hours. And when she did that, it allowed me to realize what, a healthy lifestyle really it is. Really could be. Exactly. And it's not like breakfast, lunch, dinner. No. That's not the style. It's like a little snack. So it'd be like, okay, for breakfast, you're going to have two mini egg pizzas. Well, you know, it has egg and it has, maybe it has a little pepperoni or maybe it had some lean turkey or something like that. But then a couple hours later, you'd have a f like three turkey meatballs or you'd have something, you know, little yes, snacks that course. kept you. I was satisfied all day, but then, you know, I didn't feel like I was eating skinless, boneless right. chicken breasts every three hours. It was it was exciting. It was fun. So, okay, wait, but how does that translate to being here in Atlantic City oh. for like two weeks? It's so crazy because one, for the first few days, my body was like, what are you doing to me? Because we'd eat in the morning one time, several hours would go by, we would eat again, a little snack here. Just we'd rehearsing, some rehearsing, dancing, dancing you know, and like napping, waking up, napping, <laughs> waking up. But what I had to learn is that you kind of have to roll with the punches and that's, you know, Miss America has to do that. I'm not going to, if I I'm lucky enough to be Miss America. I'm not going to be able to have Rita make all my my meals for me. I'm not going to be able to eat every three hours. So it's about finding those snacks that you love. I love almonds. I love like you know trail mix and granola bars and bananas, like things you can just throw in the bag. You know every you know you're hungry, you get a little grumbly because now my stomach will tell me. I'll be like, oh, it's been three hours. I need to eat something. You know, and <laughs> it keeps you exactly, but it keeps you energized throughout the whole day. I never feel like, oh, I'm I'm tired or I'm hungry. I'm cranky. Um, my my family calls it hangry when you're hungry. Angry and, and angry. angry. Yes, so my sister-in-law's that way. She definitely is exactly. Angry. So it, it's like it's like when you have a baby and you bring a diaper bag. You always have snacks. So I have my Miss Iowa bag that always has snacks in it. Always has things ready to go. Um, so I I always keep my body fueled because that's how you live a happy lifestyle and that's how you you stay healthy and you stay energized. Definitely. Okay. And if there's um, one thing that you really think women and and especially young girls watching Miss America seeing you know the swimsuit competition what would you like them to take away from that I think I may have touched on this last time um, but I always go through the saying you're enough if you asked me even six months ago if I would be standing here before you holding a swimsuit award from Miss America I would say you are nuts <laughs> but when you put your mind to something and you truly believe that you can achieve it I know sometimes people think oh there's a pageant girl saying that cliche thing about believing in yourself but when I won Miss Clinton County I was 25 pounds heavier 12 percent you know heavier in my body fat percentage and now I'm standing here because I knew I could do it I knew I had the strength mentally to do it I just needed that push so find those people that will support you find the people that love you and love what you want to do and you can do it because you are enough everything you bring to the table is enough that's wonderful well congratulations good luck on Sunday oh.